Hey everyone, welcome to Poffology. My name is Michael Poff, and today I'm going to Amelia's Bakery to get some bread for the week. And I'm also going to talk about uh, my favorite date that Emily and I have been on. I might tell you about another one, but I know I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite dates, and I'm just gonna talk about whatever. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm heading over to Amelia's and I don't think Calvin Fletcher's is open, but if they are, I might get a cup of coffee. So, well, I hope everyone's having a good day. Are you having a good day? Are you having a good weekend? Are you excited to possibly go back to work tomorrow or maybe you've already been at work? I am, I am slightly excited to get back into the routine, but you know, it's always hard to go back to a, to get back into the pattern of doing everything like you did before uh, every before the holidays. So, so tomorrow, Emily and I both go back to work, and yeah, I I try to wake up pretty early today, so tomorrow would not be as bad. So that's yeah, that's about it. Uh, what else? Oh, you know what? Actually, Emily went to what's the place called? The some donut shop, Jack's Donuts. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I forgot that. Emily went to Jack's Donuts this morning and got us some donuts. So we had coffee and donuts and it was a great morning so far. So yeah, that's all I've done today. Probably won't do much else. I'm finishing up some of the work I have to get done before this week. And um, that's about all. So it's been pretty chill. Emily went to Target. She's back home now. And now I'm heading over to Amelia's. So, okay, I'll see you very soon. I'm going to get on my way there. So I'm on my way to Amelia's. Here is a story of one of my favorite dates that Emily and I have been on. So it was our senior year in college. Emily and I, so Emily's my wife, and we've been married five years. So it was, this was probably six years ago, maybe almost seven. Uh, it was our senior year in college, and we went up to Chicago for the day. Um, and in our, you know, Chicago is really fun. We lived about 45 minutes to an hour away from Chicago. So it was a pretty easy place for us to go up to. So we went up to Chicago. We um, started the day off eating lunch. I believe we went to the Grand Lux restaurant, Grand Lux. I, I just think that's what it's called. It's on Michigan. It's like a, it's like Cheesecake Factory with cake, but I'm sure they have cheesecake, but it's literally like the, I, it's, you know, it's just a menu, pretty identical to Cheesecake Factory. And it's really cool. And you can ask for a table to look over Michigan Avenue if you're willing to wait. And if you go on lunch, uh, I think you can automatically get one pretty easily. So so we got a table over Michigan, really cool, really fun to watch everyone. And then we went on this, uh, oh, what's it called? I'm sure we went to a bunch of stores, but my favorite part of it was we went on a river boat architecture tour. So river boat, Lake Michigan, river, whatever, whatever. No, I think it's a river. Okay, we went on the architecture tour in Chicago, the one that you're on a boat. That was awesome. Actually, I've been on that three or four times and every single time is a little bit different. But if you get a really good tour guide, it's awesome. And so on that day, we had a really good detailed tour guide and it just was so fun. It was a perfect day to go out there. Um, so that really made it just super special and good and fun was that tour guide. Um, and also there's a, I, I think there's a chocolate factory near there. Maybe I'm wrong, but I have this memory. Maybe that's in San Francisco, but I have this memory of smelling chocolate on the river and that was just super cool. We drove by or we rode by somewhere that was making something. So, and the tour guide talked about it. So yeah, it was really neat. I really liked that tour. Yeah, I, I highly suggest uh, if you're in Chicago, you should definitely go on that riverboat tour. Yeah, it might be expensive, but I'm sure you can get Groupons or something. I don't know, but it's worth it. It's worth it. So we went there 
then we, um, w- I think that, that might have been like an hour or hour and 30 minutes or longer tour. So we got off that one. I think we went on another tour that was not the riverboat tour. So we did that. And then uh, after that, we didn't, I don't think we ate dinner, but it was getting dark. So I think we went to a gift shop. And uh, later that night, we had these tickets that like, if you go on the day tour, you also can do the night tour for 20 bucks. And so we did that. We did the night tour of, on the river. That was awesome. And uh, we actually, actually, I'm getting this kind of messed up. It doesn't really matter though. Before we went on the boat tour at night, we went on a Ferris wheel, you know, at Navy Pier. And then we went on the night tour. So you can see the Chicago skyline on Lake Michigan. It was just really special, really fun. So that was my favorite date in Chicago on that day. So someone's honking. So yeah, so that was my favorite day. Another good date, I, well, I'll talk about it on our way back. So we weren't in Chicago, but it was, yeah, it was a good day. Okay, it was a Valentine's Day actually. Okay, I'm going to Amelia's and um, was there anything about that date that I didn't talk about? Went to Chicago, we went on the river tour, we uh, got off, hung out, went to a few shops. You know, in Chicago, I'm just gonna throw this out there. One of my favorite places to go to is, and I'm sure, I don't even know if this place is open, and it, it might, uh, whatever. It's called this the Hot Box Soup or Soup Hot Box. It's this soup place. I just always loved going there. And I think it was more of a nostalgic place because it was one of the first places I went to when uh, I moved to Illinois and went up to Chicago the first times, one of my first times. We went to this soup shop. It was awesome. It was awesome. I couldn't even tell you where it was, where it is, but I really like it. Hot box soup or soup box. They have a cookbook that Emily got me a couple years ago. Great soup. Awesome. And great grilled cheeses. Okay. So that's all. That date was awesome. One of my favorites. It was great. I love tours. Emily and I love going on tours. We both really love uh, touring old mansions or old homes. That's so fun, so interesting. And in Virginia, it feels like that is everywhere. It's just a very historical state. There's lots of tours offered in most cities. It's cool. So we love going there. We almost, we were hoping to go to, uh, what's it called? Belmont. Oh, I'm missing this up. Never mind. I'm not even going to say it. It's some, it's some mansion in North Carolina. I think that's what it is. I don't know. So we were going to go there for Christmas, but you know, but hopefully we'll go there at some point. It's this really big mansion. I'll have to look it up and tell you very soon. Okay. I'm going to Amelia's and then I'll be right back. So I'm here at Amelia's and uh, also Bluebeard is smoking some meat, I think. It's pretty interesting, see? Hopefully you can hear me still, but I'm gonna try to point at it. That thing right there, it's this long pipe that's uh, pumping out smoke from Bluebeards. Very cool, very interesting. And It looks like they're taking down some of the decorations. The tree doesn't have any lights on it now. Here's a fire going. I have a feeling most of these decorations up here will be down this week, so. But yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get in line for Amelia's. See you very soon. Hey everyone, so we're here at Amelia's and I just want to quickly go over some of the stuff they sell. So they're a specialty item grocery store. So they have a lot of seasonings, a lot of things for making bread. They have some fresh produce in the fridge, some eggs, some to-go food. And they sell some jellies and jams, some sauces that you would use in a charcuterie board. They sell milk and eggs, specialty drinks. And so, and beside that, they have this section that has a lot of specialty cheeses and specialty charcuterie board meats. 
and they also sell my favorite horseradish. I was so excited that I found this horseradish. I've been looking for it and I'm very glad that Amelia sells it. And they also sell some local uh, meat. So they got local steaks, local chorizo, uh, different sausages and chicken and things like that. And at the counter, they sell some sweets and cookies, brownies, different items like that. And behind the counter as well, they, they have their bread. And so today I got uh, country bread instead of city sourdough bread. And uh, after tasting it, country is a whole wheat sourdough. It's really great. I really like it. It's very soft and delicious. So, okay, bye. So I just got back from Amelia's and I'm very excited because I found one thing that I've been looking for all over Indy and I have not been able to find it. And I might have already shown it to you, but I'm just going to talk about it. So I got, well, I'm going to tell you the most, the thing I'm most excited for, and it is this horseradish. Okay. Horseradish to me makes a steak. It enhances a steak from uh, maybe like a five to an eight. If you have really good horseradish, it, it just pairs so well. So I love good horseradish. And this is in my opinion, the best packaged, uh, not fresh horseradish. I mean, it's fresh. Uh, it's, you know, it says fresh ground, but it's the best in a jar horseradish I've ever had. And I've had maybe four to five brands. Okay. Let's just say I've had every horseradish that you can buy in, in the Chicago or Indiana region. So this is the best one. Even it's better than Boar's Head, even though they have amazing marketing and it looks great. That's better. I just love that, whatever, that burn. Well, oh, it's so good. So I'm so excited I found it. I, I will, man, yeah. I'm probably gonna call and tell Matthew I found it. So, and then I, I'm changing up the bread, even though it's gonna look the same. I'm getting country sourdough instead of city sourdough. I honestly, do not know if there's gonna be much of a difference. I'll let you know. It looks identical besides the uh, striking on the front, the markings. It smells identical. From my understanding, when I asked them about it three or four months ago, they said that the city sourdough has a little bit more sour to it, a little bit more tang and the country sourdough uh, is more of a white bread, plain taste. But honestly, I, who knows if I can even taste a difference. So I'm gonna talk about another one of my favorite dates as I drive home. So I feel like, I, I you know, for me on a date, Food is very important. Food is very important in general, okay? And one of the things that I did one of, on one of the Valentine's Day, which I normally do make a really good meal on Valentine's Day, but when we were in college, um, I went to a butcher shop, and that was only maybe the second time in my life I've ever been to a butcher shop, and I got these two ribeyes that were heart shaped, or I mean the butcher cut them into heart shapes. And so they were split. And I uh, charcoal grilled them. And I also made some red lobster, red lobster, lobster. I made lobster on the grill for Emily. And um, what else did I make? I got her some flowers. I got her some, I don't know, some other stuff. I think I made potatoes. It was awesome. Maybe I, I think I made twice baked potatoes. So I got lobster, twice, twice baked potatoes, broccoli, steak. Great meal, great date. That was one of my favorite dates. And it was a really good steak. So those are my two favorite dates, going to Chicago and making a meal. Um, one of my, a good date that we went on was to, I think it's called Oh, it was, it was on our anniversary. We went to this really nice restaurant. 
ironworks. I don't know what it's called, but I had a really uh, good age steak there and Emily had crab cakes. That was a good day too. So, hmm, what else? Yeah, so there's my, those are good dates that I've been on. There's this, uh, well, I'm not gonna say that. Well, there's a lot of people at that barbecue place, Gold's Barbecue. What else am I thinking? Hmm. Well, I want to, I'm gonna say it. So there's this place downtown called, oh, I don't even remember what it's called. I, I, I thought I did. It's like the Boys Flowers or something. So it's, it's this flower shop ran by two guys and I want to get some flowers there in the next month or so. So for Emily, but I don't, I know they're in like the, they're near the uh, farmer's market or in the farmer's market in downtown Indy. So I might go there and yeah, I'm, what else? You know, so yesterday in, when we were at Kroger, there's already stuff up for Valentine's Day. Isn't that crazy? It's January whatever. There's stuff up for Valentine's Day. But hey, that's the that's the uh, reality of shopping or 2020 shopping, 2020 grocery stores. So, okay, I'll be back. See you very soon. So I'm back at the apartment. Tomorrow starts a new day, a new year for working. Man, I am a little stressed about it, but I know it's gonna be fine. So, I'm gonna have to get used to getting into the re back into the routine of working and making a vlog and not, it's just, you know, it's going to be um, different than the past couple weeks. So, but I can do it. I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna have fun. I might have to make my vlog on my lunch break. I will on most days. I might go to Amelia's again this week or I might try to go somewhere new. I don't really know. So, but if you're still watching this, comment down below horse for horseradish. You could comment horseradish if you want, whatever. I'm just, just comment horse or the emoji horse or something. So thank you so much for all your comments. Everyone's just so nice to us. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so right now I'm about to go up to my apartment and we are going to, I'm gonna clean a little bit. I'm going to finish writing something and I'm going to make dinner. So tonight, uh, a couple weeks ago, no, maybe it was just last week, I don't know. We went to Trader Joe's and we got this pesto uh, chicken and pesto tomato pasta. It was really good, um, but we didn't use all the chicken. So I, I froze some of it and I'm going to make again, more pesto, chicken, pasta. So I'm gonna make that. I might put broccoli in it. I don't know if that's weird. I, I feel like that's a normal thing. I wish I had little tomatoes, but I don't, but maybe I do. So, but I got pasta and I got pesto and I got the pesto chicken. So I'm gonna make that for dinner with some garlic bread and a Caesar salad or a, yeah, or maybe a balsamic kale salad. So we got both. I got, Emily went to Target today and got me some. Uh, Target kale, and I love Target kale. I think it's the best kale it is. I know for a fact it's the best. It tastes the best. It maybe, it maybe it has less nutrition in it. I don't know, but it tastes great. I love it. Goes great in smoothies. Great for salads. So I got that. Maybe I'll make balsamic. I don't know. So balsamic with my raisins. I love my raisins. Specifically, I got a lot of very specific things I like. So... It's these golden raisins that I've talked about if you watch my vlog. So got that. So I'll make this salad tonight. What else? Uh, I think that's about all. I'm going to continue watching. Well, later tonight, I'll probably watch some TV. I'm reading. Uh, and how funny. I started Dapper Dan, but then I, I started instead of da that, I got sucked into Gucci Mane's uh, book want his newest book. I don't know why. I it I just started listening to it. So I like it. It's interesting. It's probably not for most people. He's, you know, it's it's whatever. So I'm listening to that. I've been also listening to 
uh, How I Built This on NPR. I really like that show or that podcast. It's really good. I recently listened to, uh, what is it, Cole, Kenneth, Keith, Kenneth Cole, the guy who made Kenneth Cole shoes and Kenneth Cole clothing. Very interesting story. Very cool. Very cool. His dad was a, his dad had a shoe factory and Ken, he split off from his dad and created his own company. Just so fascinating. So fascinating. How he, how he got the supplies for his shoes and so interesting. So such a good story. So I listened to that and that's about all. So, okay. I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending some time uh, with me. Um, I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go up and clean a little, get ready for dinner, stuff like that. So I'll be back tomorrow. Emily and I will do Tuesday tea talks, Tuesday tea chats on Tuesday. And um, I'm sure she's excited for the new Bachelor or Bachelorette, whatever, one of those shows that come out soon. Um, I think she, I think it comes out soon. I, I think I remember her and her friends talking about it. So that will be cool. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're doing and, uh, I'm going to go now. So I hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great week. If no one's told you this today, you are loved. Uh, this world is a better place because you're here. Let me say that again. If no one's told you this today, you're loved and this world is a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.